You actually go to jail for not following your child custody orders? It's the first Friday of the month, and according to your custody order, you get visitation with your child this weekend. However, your spiteful ex is refusing to allow your child to come with you. Isn't this illegal? Are you supposed to call the police? You know this isn't right, but what can you do? The first thing you need to do is create a record. Document, document, document. If your ex refuses to let you have your children, you should get it in writing. If with a phone or in person, follow it up with a text message asking your ex why you can't have your visitation this weekend. Next, you should call the police and file a police report. However, you should be prepared for the police to go out of their way to not help you. One of the most common responses the police give parents in your situation is, it's a civil matter and we don't want to get involved. Just because some police don't want to get involved though, doesn't mean that you shouldn't file a police report. Did you know that refusal to allow visitation is actually a crime? Yes, a crime. As in, go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. A person commits an offense if the person takes or retains a child younger than 18 years of age. When the person knows that the person's taking or retention violates the express terms of a judgment or order, including a temporary order of a court disposing of the child's custody. Therefore, if your court order says that you are entitled to visitation on a certain weekend, the first, third, or fifth weekend, for example, and your ex knows that refusing visitation violates the express terms of the order, then your ex has committed an offense. This offense is called interference with child custody. I know, right? Anytime you talk about a criminal offense, you always have to consider how serious the punishment is. I mean, if a bank robbery was punishable with a $500 fine, then there wouldn't be much of a deterrent. Interference with child custody is punishable as a state jail felony. An offense punished as a state jail felony is punished with confinement in a state jail facility for no less than 180 days and no more than two years. In addition to the confinement, a person may be fined up to $10,000. Therefore, when the police tell you that it is a civil matter and they don't want to get involved, then make sure you inform them that a crime has been committed and demand that they make a report. If the officer refuses, then ask to speak to a supervisor, like a sergeant or a lieutenant. Ask them if they will ask your ex these following questions. Isn't the child under 18 years of age? Isn't there a court order that sets the terms for child custody? Under the terms of the order, isn't the other parent, you, entitled to possession of the child right now? Even knowing that, you're still refusing to allow the other parent, you, to have possession of the child? These questions, presuming the answers to each were yes, should be sufficient to establish a criminal violation by your ex. Even though all this seems fairly scary, there are a couple of exceptions that actually allow you to interfere with child custody. Specifically, the law allows for affirmative defenses. For example, if the order says that you have to return the child by 6 p.m. and you encounter circumstances that are beyond your control, which prevent you from getting the child back in time, and you immediately gave or attempted to give notice to your ex that you were gonna be late, then you shouldn't have to worry about prosecution. If there is some reason that you do not believe it's in your child's best interest to return to your ex, then you should pursue that in court instead of taking it into your own hands. If your child is being abused by your ex, either physically, sexually, or emotionally, then you should contact the police and CPS and immediately file a petition with the court. You may not want to file a criminal complaint against your ex, I mean, they are the parent to your child for whatever that's worth. In that case, there is an alternative. In Texas, you can bring a civil suit called a motion to enforce that seeks fines and jail time for contempt. However, that's a conversation for another day. We'll publish a card here when we finish that video. In a motion to enforce, you can recover attorney's fees, but you do not get that same benefit through a criminal prosecution. Unfortunately, this criminal offense isn't prosecuted very often. If you know a police officer, ask them why they don't enforce this criminal violation more frequently. If you are a police officer, let us know in the comments why this isn't enforced or whether this is the first time that you're learning that this is actually an offense.